six warrant that went awry. They are continuing to talk with the gunman who was holed up in North Philadelphia. No longer is it a hostage situation. It is now a barricade situation. Yeah, good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown along with Yuki Washington here. Of course, we've been following these developments for hours now of this uh, gun battle mm -hmm. that was taking place in North Philadelphia, that nice town Tioga area. We're told those six officers who were shot have non-life-threatening injuries. You just heard the FOP president say that they will all be going home miraculously enough because they had non-life-threatening injuries. The police commissioner saying again, this is nothing short of a miracle that officers were not killed today. This all started when the narcotic strike force went to the home on the 3700 block of North 15th Street in Nicetown, Tioga to serve a warrant. The gunmen opened fire almost immediately when they got into the building. Some had to dive out of windows just to escape the gunfire. And we are now some five and a half hours into the situation and at times it has been pouring rain. The gunman has been continuously shooting out into the street and is not communicating. We've been bringing you live coverage every step of the way. And our team of reporters have been furiously working their sources to bring you the latest information. Well, let's start with Greg Argos live in North Philadelphia. Greg, I know that it's, you have been way too close for comfort in terms of where this gunfire was hitting. You've been close enough to hear several rounds over the course of hours. Despite those officers being freed, though, this is still a very active scene out there, we understand. That's exactly right there, Natasha. A very active scene. We have not heard gunfire in the past hour or so, which is great news. As the commissioner just mentioned, though, it is a miracle, he says, that six of those officers who were injured were not killed. They are all going to be returning home shortly. Quite the miracle happening here as this basically uh, police investigation is continuing here. SWAT team here in the Tioga Nicetown section of Philadelphia is still trying to communicate with this suspect. It's been hours, 435 this afternoon when that narcotics team went into the house and then basically gunfire erupting. Six officers were hit. And as you just heard from the commissioner, the incredible news tonight is that those six officers will be released likely tonight and be returned to their families in okay condition despite uh, their gunshot injuries. It could have been a much more difficult situation here as this unfolded once again at 4.30 this afternoon. Officers entering this home that you see behind me where the suspect still is barricaded uh, for a warrant, to serve a warrant and put this suspect in handcuffs. That suspect, for whatever reason, opened fire on police. We heard from the commissioner earlier that officers were jumping out of windows. They were rushing out of doors trying to get out of the way of the line of fire. And all afternoon for hours, we heard that volley of gunfire. We confirmed that the uh, suspect was armed with a rifle firing towards police. SWAT members returning fire at one point just before dusk tonight. Four women were removed from the home by SWAT members. They said they were inside during this terrifying experience. Take a listen as to what they described. I, I, think, I thank God for these cops. They're good people. Don't say nothing bad about them. They kept us safe the whole time. The whole time. They kept us safe. By the commission of a guy. Huh? I live on the second floor. And that's where all the. got a little bit of room here, please. Thank you. Yes. Kept us safe, those women said, as they were rushed from the scene of this crime. Uh, the suspect still inside the home. This has become uh, what was a hostage situation, now a barricade situation, as officers with the SWAT team try to remove that suspect from the home. There were also, we should mention, two daycare centers in this area. All of the children inside at the time, after all, it was before the workday ended around 4.30. They were evacuated from those, uh, those daycares, brought to safe spaces, and then reunited, fortunately, with their family members and their parents. And now the focus is Yuki and Natasha trying to communicate with and get this suspect in cuffs, in custody, without any further damage to property or to any other injuries to anyone else here in this area. The scene, fortunately, much calmer than it was. We have not heard those volleys of gunfire, but really, for the past few hours, this has been the center of attention for Philadelphia SWAT, uh, the center of attention as they try to communicate with this suspect who simply does not want to talk with police right now. Hopefully, this will end uh, very soon.
But the great news tonight, as you heard from the commissioner, those six officers will be released from the hospital after suffering gunshot wounds and will be with their families most likely tonight after what ha could have been such a deadly situation. Still a dangerous one. But fortunately, tonight, those officers are headed home. That is the latest now here in North Philadelphia. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. It really uh -huh. is miraculous. Yeah. No Thank you so much, Greg. We